Hello, and welcome to BHS TV News. I'm your host, Marissa Anderson, alongside my co-host, Connor Renouche. Today, we have coverage on the fall musical, life after high school, Thanksgiving traditions, as well as student employment. BHS TV News starts right now. On October 23rd, First Lady Melania Trump visited Orchard Lake Middle School in West Bloomfield to address bullying. The First Lady was accompanied by Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. The day was spent promoting anti-bullying in Melania's No One Eats Alone lunch event. The visit was an attempt to kick off of a week of inclusion for National Bullying Prevention Month. As part of my ongoing commitment to the overall well-being of children, I am looking forward to today's visit, stated First Lady Melania Trump. By our own example, we must teach children to be good stewards of the world they will inherit. We need to remember that they are always watching and listening. It is our responsibility to take the lead in teaching children the values of empathy and communication that are at the core of kindness, mindfulness, integrity, and leadership. It's great to see bullying being addressed, especially so close to home. Agreed. Halloween may be the scariest day of the year for most underclassmen, but for seniors, the early action deadline following the next day is hands down one of the spookiest days of the year. That's right. November 1st is quickly approaching. Alex Grant has an update on what you need to consider in preparation for life after high school after the break. We hope to see you there. Hello, my name is Alexandra Grant for BHS TV News, talking to you about life after high school. College night provide opportunities for you to speak to a representative and to ask the questions that are important to you. Um, it, it could depend, every one of you are different and every one of you are looking for something different, but this is an opportunity to speak to the person who's gonna probably be the first person to look at your application. Do, no, I wouldn't say that it's easier for you. I think that there's a ton of information out there. There's also uh, more schools or universities to choose from. Some throw down the field of what you're looking for. Look towards the schools that are a good fit for you and the schools that offer what you have. It doesn't make sense to go to a school where you have friends if you can't study what's important to you. Um, I'm kind of stressed out to be honest. It's very, very um, stressful in the sense that they really, they right when we got to school, they like pressured it, us with it. But I guess it's just better to worry about it now than to like worry about it later. But um, I'm actually kind of excited because. It's college, and I'm finally going to be done with high school, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I don't necessarily love it, but it's, it's going to have to happen sooner or later, so I mean, I guess I'm just doing what I have to do. <laughs> well, I'm looking for colleges just to get a head start, like, so I know to be, what to be prepared for. I think the biggest difference in applying now is the competition. Students are smarter, they have more experiences, they have more resources than we had when we were applying to school back in the day. And as a result, the competition is stiffer. I think you students also have a huge advantage in the technology that they have and the resources from those technologies that can be very helpful to them in the application process. So I think a lot of things have changed, but I would say the biggest change is really in the competition that we have today, especially in our biggest 
in most popular schools. For BHS TV News, I'm Alexandria Grant. Thanks for that, Alex. The college process can be pretty confusing. We should all be thankful to have such an amazing counseling staff. Agreed. Speaking of complicated situations, on October 23rd, over 300,000 Oakland County residents were left with unsanitary water, as well as many more houses left with low water pressure and some with no water access at all. Residents were forced to find other resources for daily tasks that use water. Many have been forced to resort to some other methods of preparation for the day, including using water bottles for brushing their teeth or even having to find another location to shower. These alternative preparations also included public institutions like Bloomfield Hill Schools. BHS trucked in 400 gallons and 25,000 12-ounce bottles of clean water after Bloomfield Hills, along with many other schools, had Tuesday off as a result of the water main break. I don't know about you, Connor, but the day off was a great precursor for the upcoming Thanksgiving break. Park Ahesha takes a look into some of the BHHS student body's favorite parts of the autumn holiday. Well, my, uh, I have a very large extended family. I come, I'm one of eight siblings, and our Thanksgiving tradition is to try to get as many of us together as possible. Thanksgiving is dinner with my sister, all of our family, and uh, all my nieces and nephews out in Jackson. Thanks for that, Parker. I can't wait until my family's Thanksgiving feast. In entertainment news, on October 25th, Detroit's own Eminem made headlines yet again, this time a little further from his hometown of Detroit, and even the United States. This time for copyright infringement on his chart-topping song, Lose Yourself. Eminem's producer sued the New Zealand National Party for the use of the slightly altered version of a song in one of their campaigns. After a lengthy court proceeding, it was ruled on October 25th that the National Party's use of a track titled Eminem-esque was sufficiently similar to the hit Lose Yourself. Eminem ended up receiving $600,000 for the infringement on the song. Speaking of talented vocalists, Bloomfield Hills is home to several individuals who easily fall under this title. On November 16th through the 18th, the Broken Leg Theater Production Company is putting on the musical A Chorus Line for the Bloomfield Hills community. After the break, Ava Meyer has a behind-the-scenes look on the production. So Environmental Club is basically just a club um, full of people that really care about the environment and um, we do a lot of fun things like fundraisers and volunteering and we really just try to make um, a difference in our school and in the Bloomfield Hills community and even in the world.
Welcome back. We have so much talent here at Bloomfield, from actors and actresses to our school's terrific athletes. Up next, we have an update on the fall sports teams in BHS TV News' first ever special report. The fall sports season is coming to an end. We would like to congratulate all the Bloomfield Hills fall sports teams on an amazing season. On October 21st, the boys tennis team was named the 2017 Division I state champions. Individual championships include Cade Berman and Sebastian Berman at one doubles, Chaz Blamo and Vic Chakaborty at two doubles, and Constantine Hemrick at three singles. State runner-up players include Andrew Zhang at one single and Adrian Weiland and Chris Saar at three doubles. On October 27th, the girls and boys cross-country teams competed in the MHSAA Region's 8-1 championship in Lake St. Clair. The Varsity Girls finished with 91 points, placed third as a team, allotting them a place at States. This will be the girls' team's first time they have qualified for States since 2013. Top runners included Shelby Jenkins, who placed 10th place finish. Shelby moved up on the all-time Best of Bloomfield Hills top 30 list to number 14. The Varsity Boys scored 160 points, placed sixth as a team, and were led by all-region runner Damian Jankowski who placed 15th. Damien earned the final state qualifying top place. The girls golf team received seventh place in the 2017 MHSAA state finals. We would like to specifically congratulate Michaela Schultz, who finished fourth place among individual golfers. Michaela shot the eight over par for the 36th hole tournament. Also, coach Brendan Harrington was awarded coach of the year for Oakland County. In football, our Blackhawks recently advanced to the playoffs, however, fell to West Bloomfield 31-6. Senior Ty Slazinski broke an MHSAA record in his last regular season game for the most pass receptions in a single game. Ty caught a total of 22 passes from quarterback John Paddock during the game. Congrats, Ty. The girls' swim and dive team went undefeated in the OAA. The girls have leagues Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday here at BHHS. Excelling individuals included Michaela Pale, who broke the 100 breaststroke pool and school record. Michaela Pale, Sarah Lynch, Megan Threckheld, and Sydney Woods broke the 400 three relay school record. Congrats, ladies, on a terrific season. And don't forget to cheer your girls' swim team at leagues this week here in the BHHS Natatorium. I'm Maddie Wine, and this has been your October 2017 Special Report in Sports. Thanks for that special report. It's great to see the success of our sports teams. Sticking to local news, my co-host Connor has covered on student employment around BHHS. I work really hard to like manage my time so I get all my homework done and then obviously I have to put my all to work so then that would come to a close second and work as hard as I can at work too. I work about one day a week and it's usually during the weekend so I have time to get my homework done between after rehearsal, dance, and before work. I'd recommend getting a job that hours work with your schedule, especially if you're a junior or a senior and you're trying really hard to get into college. Make sure you have time to do the homework and have time to study for tests that are really important. I'd say that to remember that school comes first, but if you are going to have a job, you need to put your all into that as well because they're both equally important because you have a responsibility to get a job done. I would say, like, really look around and I would say really look at what you actually spend money on. Because most of the time, 
your discounts where you work. So if you're looking at places where you buy things off, then you can get discounts at those places. So do that. Thanks for that, Connor. Anytime. With that, we conclude our second broadcast of the year. Tune in next time for more news around the world, in your state, and in your classroom. I am Marissa Anderson. And I'm Connor Renouche. Thank you for watching.